crocodilians are at the pinnacle of amphibious predator design, but this alone is not enough to explain their enduring success. Something else has helped crocodilians flourish in the largely poor and unpredictable habitats in which they live. Engine design. South America's freshwater rivers and lakes are home to many kinds of animals. Like all living creatures, they're powered by internal flesh and blood combustion engines. But while some engines are slow, others have a fast idling speed and are tuned for high performance. Black caiman and giant otters share the same space, but their very different body engines dictate very different ways of life. The basic mechanics, however, are the same. Oxygen breathed in with air is carried in the blood to all the body's cells. Inside each cell, this oxygen reacts with digestive food, the body's fuel, so releasing energy. Some energy is spent on growing and getting around. Some is stored inside muscles for future use, and some is converted into heat. The faster, high-performance engines of the giant otters burn a lot of fuel quickly and generate a lot of heat. So much heat that the otters can run an internal heating system, which keeps their bodies permanently warm. It's why they, like all mammals, are called warm-blooded. The Cayman's engines work in a similar way, but with one vital difference. Their slow idling engines just don't generate as much heat. Certainly not enough to keep their bodies permanently warm, which is why Cayman, like all reptiles, are referred to as being cold-blooded. One of the benefits of a high-performance engine, a high metabolism, is a constant warm body temperature. Being warm-blooded means that you can live almost anywhere. You can stay warm whatever the temperature outside. It's why mammals and birds are able to live anywhere in the world, even in the coldest places. Cold-blooded reptiles like crocodilians, on the other hand, have to rely on an external source of heat to rev up their bodies and keep them running properly. They're solar-powered. Special bony discs along the crocodilian's back act like solar panels, absorbing heat and downloading it into the bloodstream.